Hello, and welcome to a little video I wanted to do on Conquest of Azeroth, which is a uh, private server that is run by the Ascension WoW people. And if you've seen videos on my channel before, they're mainly done on Conquest of Azeroth because it's just super interesting getting all of these different new classes. And today we're trying out the Witch Hunter. It's a uh, class that I just started not too long ago, about a couple hours ago. And you can see that I have uh, some pretty big XP bonuses going on. The the seven day one, which is 200%, and then I have a uh, XP potion going. So it doesn't take very long at all for me to level up. And in the background, you can see that I am actually leveling in the more, one of the more interesting specs that the class has, which is the uh, Inquisition one, which surprisingly is a tank spec, or that's what they're going for anyway. Um, you can see that it does a lot, a lot of damage, and it has a cool looking pet. It's kind of like a melee hunter almost, which I was pretty surprised about. And the way that the spec works is that you go from two different like stances, purity and I forget what it's called. I think it's wickedness. They're two different ones, and your abilities kind of play off of those. You can see when I'm turned into a shadow, that's when wickedness is on, and then once I'm glowing like I am right now, that's uh that's purity, which I think that reduces damage taken, and then wickedness increases damage taken. Which, we'll be looking at the uh, skills a little bit later on. But, yeah, anyways, I just I wanted to make a new video because it's been about eight months since I played this the last time. And judging by their Discord, they update this a crap ton all the time. Like, we're, I'm talking, like, not hourly, but I'd say, like, daily updates, like, Pretty big changes to the classes, you know, fixes, that type of stuff. And they're always adding and tweaking things, which is, it's, it's just, it's cool to see the development going on as you play. And like, as you, like, just as time goes by, you can see how the game changes. And the last time I played, I think the highest level was 40, but I'm not sure when, but they changed the max level to 50. I guess they're preparing to do level 60, but that might take a while because, you know, obviously there's so many different, like, things you have to change and you have to make it so all the classes work for, you know, the big raids because level 60 is when you finally get access to the big raids and there's me leveling up and getting another skill, which is it's a pretty cool one. It's pretty much an AoE cleanse for diseases and uh, magic, which you could be pretty powerful in, you know, pvp and stuff but uh yeah with the mobility this class gets and it's one of its other specs it could be really strong later on depending on how they end up tweaking everything but uh we'll be taking a look at the other specs just a bit later on near the end of the video when we look at the different uh talents i i they're i say talents but they're more like just skills you can unlock you can choose which i think it's every three levels you can unlock another one once you hit level 30. But uh yeah, oh you see there that was it's a necromancer uh person that just had those skeletons. But yeah, um I honestly never really found the witch hunter class that interesting. Cuz you know, there's over 20 different classes and there's some pretty good ones, some pretty unique ones, some really fun ones. And this one just kind of always seemed pretty basic, like uh, a hunter with a little unique flair. And considering they have a ranger in the game, which I still haven't tried, I need to. I'm, I am I don't know how much different they could change it to a regular hunter from uh, base WoW. But <clears throat> the witch hunter is pretty cool. I, I really like this spec, this, this tanking like melee spec. It does a lot of damage and... You heal quite a bit, plus the, the, the giant leap you get is pretty good. 
But, uh, oh, here, here we go. This is the spec I was talking about earlier that would be really strong in PvP. I... <laughs> this is probably not the best, you know, enemies to be fighting to showcase the mobility, considering they trap you as soon as you get into combat with them. But... I don't know, this is, this is, the spe I, I just decided to use it here, considering I was in Westfall, and I wanted to try all the different specs while I was here. This is me killing the wolf. I gotta collect these bandanas and stuff. But yeah, you can see right there, the, the leap, which, all the specs get the leap, but the Bolt Slinger passive, or the Bolt Slinger specialization, it becomes a pretty important core mechanic because you don't really have any other mana regeneration abilities i i don't think anyway from what i saw and the the leap actually gives you like 15 percent of your base mana back which is really good and considering it it like resets whenever you use your um you like your spam abilities it's it's really good but yeah you can you can see how this would be kind of powerful in pvp considering how much you're leaping around and you're like you're always staying out of range like look at that that's just just imagine a blink on like a fucking five second cooldown it's pretty absurd and uh you know that's just this isn't even this isn't even the like highest like potential i'm pretty sure because you'll see later on he can get some pretty powerful uh like specialization skills which I haven't unlocked any of them really because I just hit level. I think this is when I was like around level 31. See in a second. As soon as I kill this guy, oh, he fell through the ground, which sucks. Yeah, level 31. So I haven't unlocked any of them yet because you need to be level 33. But yeah, this, this spec seems really, really strong for PvP anyway. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, like Rogue, how... One of their specs is really good for PvP, but using it in dungeons and, you know, killing mobs, it's not very good. I could see this being the same way, because <laughs> how, how would you use this spec in, like, uh, like an actual, like, endgame dungeon or raid, you know? Because you'd be fucking, you'd be hopping around all over the place. You'd, I mean, it, it might be good for some of the, some of the uh, raids that have, you know, certain mechanics, but <laughs> it's you know, for, for a lot of it where you need to be staying in one spot, I don't see how this would be very good unless you're just rolling into a wall over and over again. But yeah, you can see it's, it's a pretty simple spec. You just, you, you spam your coiling shot and then you spam your, uh, I forget what the second one's called, Witchbane. Yeah, there it is, Witchbane, which you can only use Witchbane after you've used your first one and it has like a two seconds to use it, so... You have to, you alternate between the two a lot. But later on, you'll see that uh, there's a lot of different bolts you can get instead of Witchbane, which they all seem, which, which I said, they, they all seem very situational. Like, you, like the, my three ability, it reduces healing, healing taken for the enemy. Oh, that, uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's one of the really cool abilities I like in this spec, which is my number four. I forget what it's called. I think it's called like marked for death or something. It's pretty much just a big AOE spin to win uh, damaging ability. It's on a big cooldown, but it seems it's really, really good. I can just imagine that, you know, in a big, you know, dungeon pull, just doing absolute insane damage, which I tried to get into a couple dungeons for this video, but I don't know. I don't know if it was just the time I was playing or if there's just not a lot of people playing right now. They, I couldn't really find anyone, which kind of sucked. There's me drinking a potion because of just how much mana this class uses. It's pretty absurd. Oops, my bad. There was a... Uh, I got a notification on my phone. But, yeah. um, I should be finishing up this quest soon, and I'll be going on to the next spec, which that one's pretty cool. I'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, this this one's pretty cool. There's some really cool talents later on, like uh, that end up increasing your movement speed by like a hundred percent for ten seconds. Which leveling that could just be insane, or you know, just having that much speed. Maybe maybe that could be a, an actual use for 
the spec end game is like like power farming considering how quickly you go just go from one enemy to the next over and over and over again and they get a cool talent later on which increases your loot gained which you know is always nice just better more stuff is always good right <laughs> but yeah um i don't know what else to really say about this spec really there's not much else you just i keep getting stunned by these guys oh yeah my, my five ability which is really cool it uses a lot of my rage but it's pretty much like a like a like a turret almost you just you attack a, like 10 times in like two seconds which is always really cool uh i wish i showcased it on better enemies but you, you see what i was going for just the the sheer like way you can kite and stay out of the range of a lot of enemies if you got good with this spec i feel like you could be like a menace to society in pvp just completely kiting but who's to say i'm not really sure with how the other classes will play out but uh yeah this is this is a little bit later on i switched my spec over to the second one which is the darkness spec which while the first spec, the, the Bolter one, that was more for your dual crossbows. This one, on the other hand, is for uh, guns, as you can see. And this one, it seems like there's a lot less, like, mechanically you need to do. Of course, I, I fucking suck, and I'm running around in circles, and I'm not using my vault or anything. Because I, I don't know, I'm just bad at this game. But, uh, yeah, this one... This is definitely the spec I can see being the the like dungeon and raid spec because this one it's very straightforward. It kind of reminds me of in a way of like a beastmaster hunter with like your pet just doing a crap ton of damage. And a lot of your abilities like reflect that with increasing like the uh I keep saying like a lot, increasing the stats of the pet like increasing its movement speed and then its attack power and there's a lot of cool bonuses you can get later on like you can end up summoning more of them and uh i guess i should explain yeah the darkness is like the darkness specs big mechanic is actually its shadow hound and it reflects that a lot with all of its abilities um you see that it's it's it kind of reminds me of like like you, when with the hunter, you could just spam steady shot and run around. That's kind of like what its number one ability does. And from what the spells that I did have, it seemed pretty straightforward. Like I only had three different abilities by level 30, 33, I think that says. Which compared to the bolt slinger where you're going like a million miles an hour having to kite and stuff. This one's a lot, a lot easier to play, I would think. And there's me just just absolutely destroying these enemies with the amount of damage it does. Just your one-two combo does so much damage, and it, it buffs the uh, the pet as well, which is always you know pretty sick. But uh, yeah, there's not really that much to say about this class. I don't think anyway. It's it's pretty straightforward, pretty cut and dry. It seems a lot like what they're going to be going on later on is this will be more of a like a dot based class because you'll see with a lot of the talent skills that you can get later on a lot of them deal damage over time like you can either go down your pet dealing damage or you putting a lot of like dots on the enemy which is always pretty cool here's me going melee mode with a, <laughs> a caster i don't know what i was doing i uh, finally resituated my melee ability which is my five which is like, that's like your bait. Every spec has access to that. It's a basic ability. It's just, it's nice to have in case you run out of, in case you get too close. But, uh, yeah, you, I don't know. It's just, it seems just like it's like you're playing Beastmaster Hunter. It's not that interesting in my opinion. It's, it's definitely the weak, weakest, like, aesthetically, I guess, in my opinion, where, it it's just very basic where it's just you know you shoot your gun your gun gets stronger the more you shoot and then you use your abilities to buff your pets but uh yeah these fucking def defias pillagers are always strong they their fireballs deal a million damage and uh yeah a bit later on you'll see that you actually can unlock a second silent which is always really nice 
especially in you know PvP or you know dungeon mechanics where you need to silence different enemies. Um, yeah, it's just it's more of the same, more me killing these enemies over and over and over again. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what what else really to say. I'm just going around like this is a very basic class. You just you have. Of course, this it could get more complicated later on when you know you unlock, you can unlock a bunch of different active skills later on to make it more mechanically engaging. But it seems like you can really just this is really the the snoozer spec where you can just chill, relax, put on, <laughs> put on some you know Netflix or YouTube on the other monitor while you're you're playing with this one. Um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to get some kind of like taunt on your pet. I would, I would really make it good with, you know, questing, just having you know, a tanky pet to hold aggro for you. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, I'll be back when we see the next spec. All right. Well, I'm back and uh, this is me trying out the, the tanking spec again, the inquisition. You see, I'm looking at the talent skills, which, you know, spoiler alert, I'll we'll be looking over all of these abilities at the end of the video. But <laughs> you can see I'm I'm transformed into a, a knoll there. That's one of the uh, abilities you can get as a witch hunter. But it doesn't, it's kind of buggy right now. You can't, if you, <laughs> if you disguise yourself as one of these NPCs, you turn green with them. But you can't, uh, you can't attack them actually, and your pet will still aggro them. So you just have to watch your pet just <laughs> die to the enemy while you can't do anything. But uh, yeah, this is you, we talked about the the Inquisition class a little bit earlier on. But this is this is after I've learned a couple more abilities. Like uh, my number four is my Smite Evil, which it changes what it does depending on what you what stance you're in either purity or wickedness you know purity you get more mana back and wickedness you uh deal more damage and uh that that five ability is pretty cool it's it's kind of it feels kind of clunky i don't really like it too much right now i'm hoping they'll change it a bit but it's like a channeled melee ability for like a second and it just it, i don't know it feels weird using it like you, you, yeah, you see here, like it just it uses a lot of rage, and you just you don't. It does not feel very good at the moment. Yeah, here's me checking it out again to see what the uh, the stances do for it. But uh, yeah, this is me just killing all of the different Defias, the end of the Defias uh, quest chain in the Westfall, which <laughs> it's kind of kind of funny being level 36 and I'm still in Westfall considering you know everything. Considering this is like you usually leave this place at like level twenty, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember if this is a if the, you know this is something regular WoW has or this is something they added for ascent like the ascension servers, which it's level scaling with the quests and the enemies, which is super nice when you have these big XP boosts because can you just imagine having to go to ten different zones to level up? You'd be in a zone for five minutes and then you know. You'd have to leave again after doing two quests, which that would be just terrible. Considering some of these, some of these zones, you have to run for 10, 15 minutes. You'd end up running. You'd end up running between the zones more than actually playing the game. So, yeah, it's just, it's just nice to have this ability to uh, stay in a single zone for a while. I think Elwyn Forest is. It goes up to level 20, and then Westfall goes up to level 40, which is you know cool. I don't know where I'm going to go once I hit level 40, though, because all the areas around the max level is 40. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet and just run anyway. But yeah, you can. Uh, you can see this is a this tank spec is pretty it's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. It's not as interesting as a lot of the other classes are. But for being a, you know, a range like crossbow wielding class, having this like this tank spec for it considering you wear leather armor it's pretty cool it's almost like in a weird way it's like you're like a rogue tank almost which you you, you seem to be taking a lot of damage right now even with the uh damage reduction you get from your threat generation uh spell but 
it's pretty good. You get a lot of health back. You see, I just popped one of my witch blood potions, which, which is, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different ones. They all share a different, they all share the same cooldown, but they all do different things. The one I popped, it increased my life steal for a bit, but there's a couple different ones. There's like a attack speed one. And then there's a, a tanking one where you take reduced damage, which for big pulls and big, you know, you know, mechanics that do a lot of damage. That'd be, that'd be pretty useful. Is it seems like the lifesteal one might be the best in my opinion from the ones I've unlocked anyway. I know there's some you can get later on that seem pretty good, but from what I have, this is, you know, it's not too bad. But yeah, this is just me finishing it up and, uh, you know, using my smite evil and really the, the one, two and three abilities, they feel really good. I'm, I'm, they, they deal a lot of damage. They feel unique to each other and being able to switch between the two stances to you know if you need to you know get take reduced damage or if you want to deal more damage it's pretty good which that's probably why i'm taking so much damage is because i'm in the wickedness stance so much considering everything but uh yeah that was me finishing that up and in a bit i'm gonna be checking out all of the different you know uh spec talents which they're all pretty cool but We'll see. We'll see what uh, you guys think about them. Yeah, so the Bolt Slinger ones, they, for how many spells you have for Bolt Slinger, it seems like there's just way too many, like, abilities you have to click. There's not enough passive ones, in my opinion. And it's just, it, I don't know. As a, a fucking boomer that has a hard time clicking all these abilities, it's just, it's rough having all of these choices to, like, di do different things and just, you know, it gets clunky, right? And you don't want to be, you don't want to be a, you know, filthy clicker. But, uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot of, like, stealth and a lot of getting out of roots and jumping away and blinding. All really good, like, PvP talents. That Trophy Hunter one right there, you should pause it. It's, that one's really good, I think. That 100% movement speed, which, that I think that talent alone could make using this for like end game farming worthwhile just that huge speed boost would be so nice just chain pulling all these different enemies and just staying out of the range of all the different enemies but uh yeah that's what this one has this is me just going over the different you know stuff there's the that explains what the like the base of the class does and then there's the spam ability it uses a bunch of mana and that's the your two you 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 one two one two you kind of switch between the two and then your bolts are like situational and then repeater that's that one and then setting up the bounty is a good like uh, boss killing ability and then you have daring escape which is it goes really good with vault because you can daring you can vault daring escape and then vault again and you'll be like 200 meters away which is really good oh it, oh there it is it's dark in the sky is what it's called which is that big AOE spin to win, like, uh, almost like gun kata kind of thing, which is, you know, real cool. But yeah, that's the, that's the spells I've unlocked for that class so far. And then this is checking out the tank spec, which the tank spec has some really cool abilities, I think. You know, the, you got your basic ones, like your AOE taunt and your charge, but, uh, I like the more damaging ones personally. I mean, if you're going to be tanking, of course you want the tank ones, but the damage abilities feel really cool and they, they feel really unique. Like this on guard one with the parrying and, and I think they've done a really good work with Inquisition. I think this is definitely the most fleshed out of all of the classes. And if I do end up leveling this character to fully level 50, I think I'll be sticking in the Inquisition one, mainly because of uh, you'll see it in a second right there the witch knight being able to two-hand weapons and then wear male armor I think that's just super cool just you know just you're you go from this like ranger like dual crossbow guy to end up like a two-handed tank which I don't know I always think two-handed tanks are cool like in base game with like death knights and stuff and you know, death knights are just OP usually always but you get what I'm saying that's me checking out the level 60 abilities but those aren't available yet the top the top row is the level 60 abilities and uh yeah you can see it increases your parry chance and then you get your oh yeah you get a big like uh tanking minion which is pretty cool I like it that that one actually has the taunts and reduces damage taken 
which is always fun. And uh, yeah, this is just this is the uh, the third spec, the final one, the darkness one I was talking about, which always seemed like the easiest of the three. And uh, you know, just going through these, it has a lot of like AOE, and like you can spread your torment around, and yeah, you know, like right there hits additional enemies. It just seems really good. Uh, pyrotonic, and then oh, here's here's some of the abilities where like you can. Your, that's like your kill command almost, and then unleash the hound. You get two more pets, which is really cool. And yeah, you see, it's just a lot of like, a lot of gun damage, a lot of dot damage, and minions and stuff, which is, I mean, it's basic, but I mean, it gets the job done, right? Like, for what you need to be doing in a dungeon, like this is, it has everything you really need to i think do a lot of damage i'm not i'm not sure how good it is considering i couldn't get into any of the dungeons which was frustrating but uh yeah this is me just finishing up the darkness skills you can look through them all if you want to see them all but um yeah the video should be finishing pretty soon and yeah it's i wanted to try something different with my videos try like a little voiceover or something see if that's better if you know people like that more if anyone really sees this but uh yeah i don't know i don't know what class i want to try next considering they've all changed so much thinking about going back to my main character which was a gladiator or the uh necromancer which is always fun they, they seem like they've changed a whole bunch since the last time i played them and they look like they'd be really fun to level and hopefully do dungeons or battlegrounds in but I don't know about doing battlegrounds considering I, I'm sure like people are just twinked out of their mind like at max level and stuff, so you're just kinda screwed. But uh yeah, this is about it. So like and uh like the video if you enjoyed what you watched. I enjoyed it. Anyway, peace.